friends, Nibs again. I bet you uh, know I couldn't wait to do this uh, review for this thing. Um, <laughs> this is a, quite a neat little gun. Uh, what we have here we're going to talk about today is my Daisy Model 753S. The S stands for synthetic, but it's, it's a pretty, it's not spongy or twisty or anything. It's very solid. Um, I really wanted to get the wood one. I've been holding off trying to find the wood one and they just uh, are never available and this this one actually hasn't been available either and I finally caught it available on Amazon so I decided to literally pull the trigger <laughs> and uh, and get this one but uh, yeah this is a pretty cool gun uh, it has it's a really really nice holding gun it's got really nice sights on it <clears throat> This is uh, really intended to be kind of a, an entry-level target gun. Um, it's got some pretty good chops to it, though. It uh, has a Walther Lothar barrel. Um, really, really nice. I, I think that's probably 99% of the cost of this gun. <laughs> um, pretty much the rest of the action is very much like a... Daisy 880 that you can buy for 60 bucks at uh, at Walmart, and uh, this one chimes in just under 300. So, <laughs> um, but uh, it has a really nice globe sight up front, and it comes with a little pack of five or six, I think, inserts. Good, good bit of them. Really nice uh, windage and elevation adjustable peep sight out back here with a nice little uh, glare hood on it very nice um, it's uh, it's got a little bit of weight to it uh, 6.25 pounds according to the owner's manual so it's a it's a chubby little girl um, for as small as it is uh, it's got some nice weight but it really balances nice right there in front of the, the pump handle is uh, is where it balances so you want a target gun that you can hold like this and you don't have to fight the barrel you don't have to be lifting it up or, or pushing it down but it just just balances right there so you can just pull it right into your shoulder and you don't have to be fighting that barrel to try to keep it uh, up so that's really nice um, I've got my uh, actually I've got it up here in the rack right now my IZH 46 or, no that's uh, no that's wrong that's a ISMASH CM2 the IZH 46M is my Baikal uh, single stroke pneumatic pistol I get everything mixed up here but so this one is my ismash cm2 uh, 22 target rifle and that one balances just like this one just put it in your palm right in front of you right in front of the trigger guard and you don't even have to think about it it just comes right to your shoulder and you can shoot so <clears throat> that's really well balanced gun this is for just a you know it's it's intended like i said intended to be an entry level get you started um but it, boy it it can shoot this thing can really shoot i've been playing around with it out here in the garage uh quite a bit <laughs> and uh it really i haven't even shot it off a rest yet we're gonna have to do that one of these days but we're gonna shoot it off hand today <clears throat> um i did play around with the trigger and test the trigger pull on it and uh, it's it's not a you know quite a match grade trigger right now, um, but it's 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 a really nice manageable trigger, and uh, my average was uh, right around two pounds four ounces, and uh, that's not bad. Uh, it doesn't have any information in the in the manual about adjusting it, but you know me, I got a tinker, so uh, eventually I'll take this thing out of the stock and see. If there's anything that can be done to make that a little bit a uh, little bit nicer but it's a it's a nice crisp you know creep on it at all it's uh it, it's a squeeze and it breaks so it's very manageable uh, another thing i really like about it so it's a single stroke pneumatic so one one pump gets it done but it has a, a metal pump arm where most of the new daisies uh, are coming with a plastic pump arm so that is really nice so so one pump, doop. I don't have a pellet in there, but, and uh, there you go. It cracks right off. So it uh, very much uh, also Daisy 880-like. 
uh, loading port and the cocking handle. So when you cock that back, and uh, let's go ahead and do some shooting. Uh, well, before we do that, let's talk about some crony numbers. So in the manual, it's rated for 495 feet per second. <clears throat> With my seven grain Meister Coogans, I saw an average of 516 with an extreme stream spread of about five or six. Um, so that's really nice. That's going to be, that's what makes this thing shoot so nice is it's very consistent. I'm sure that barrel <laughs> has got a lot to do with that too. But um, I did, I don't usually do that, do, do this, but I have some <clears throat> RWS Hyper Maxes and I just wanted to give it a try. Uh, these were in a plastic sleeve with all oh, individually packed, but I spilled them on the <laughs> bench, so I ended up putting them in a tin. But uh, those weigh 5.2 grains, <clears throat> and I ended up seeing 554 feet per second. I only did two shots, so they were exactly the same, uh, 554 feet per second. So much higher than the rated, even with uh, with lead pellets. And then you go to a, a non-lead uh, super light pellet and uh, breaking that uh, rating by almost 60 feet per second. <clears throat> I'm going to test this with two different pellets. Uh, I'm going to do the really budget friendly, get these for $5 a box at uh, our local running store. I'm stocked up on quite a bit of those. They shoot really well. And then we're going to go kind of the other side of the aisle and uh, run it with some R10 matches, which are basically the same as a Meister Coogan, just a little bit, little bit more well inspected uh, before they leave the factory. But let's go ahead and uh, give this a try. I can almost guarantee you that any deviation from a one hole group is probably gonna be just because of me bobbling around from uh, shooting off hand <clears throat> but I have some of the one inch splatter burst targets on my downrange uh, pellet box uh, and those are just perfect for lining up with these uh, peep and globe sights and make a fun little plinker too with it's got enough power to take care of any cans <laughs> shaky tonight I was working working pretty hard today almost got the roof finished on the church <laughs> got a few more flashing pieces to put up but we had a rain a little bit of rain move in on me so I had to pack everything up and get out of there but all of the flat steel is on so and uh like I said, except for some edge flashing, the roof is weather tight, <laughs> so no more worries there. That one dropped a little low, but that was me kind of bobbling around, but that's pretty decent <laughs> keeping that everything on that one inch. Uh, one inch little splatter burst uh, paster dot for for lack of a better term. It's not really even intended, I don't think, to be a individual target. That's nice. All right, let's see if the, uh, the daisies are gonna put the R10 matches to the, to the shame, so. Another one inch splatter burst there.
This is a gun that it cocks so easy and, and uh, charges so easy. This is something even a young person could shoot all day long. Bobbling bad. Ooh, that one almost didn't make it onto the splatter burst. Some pretty excellent results from both both pellets. This thing, uh, we have to put this head to head against the uh, 499B. Maybe that won't be a fair fight, but it'll be a fun fight. <laughs> well, anyway, there you go. There is my initial review, I guess you could call it, for the daisy model 753s i actually did see somebody selling a the wood stock just the wood stock needed to be refinished but uh i might pick that up they got a for just a few bucks on ebay uh, that would be a handsome addition to uh to this little guy i think it would it's definitely a definitely a keeper so i want to make it look like it belongs on walnut and steel Oh, and one other thing, I did add one of the spacers to give me a little bit, little bit better length of pull on this. It was just a little bit short for me. It does come with two spacers, but one seemed to really do the trick for me. So, but there you go. I am uh, really loving this little gun. Uh, stay tuned for more action with this guy. I hope you guys liked the video. Till next time. Have a great day.